good to be back. Not in this world though, no, hell no, this would be horrible. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for A Quiet Place Part 2. And I actually, just before I reviewed this, realized that I had not reviewed the first one. The first one's actually a really fun, really cool concept. The idea of these alien creatures that can pretty much be perfect killers because they are such attuned to sound. And it's essentially about the idea of trying to live your life with as little sound making lifestyle as possible and it also turns into a horror movie and it's a pretty good opening directorial debut for John Krasinski. This is a follow-up from him that he actually had no intention of doing but the reception for A Quiet Place was so good that he decided to write and direct the second one. Now the first one he had co-writers, this one it's just all him and I will, yes Arrow, that the first thing that I was pretty impressed with was the opening. The opening explains a few more things for me that I was a little bit left out on with the first film. Um, for instance, I kind of wonder just how these things just steamrolled the entire planet. In the beginning of the film, these things literally just will swipe you to kill you. They ain't eaten. They ain't focused on anything. They're just primal killers. Does that make sense as an alien species? No, but again, they're giving enough for you to understand how they did what they did, but there's still a little bit of mystery to them. For instance, I actually don't really know if they're called anything. I want to call them clickers. But that's because it makes me think of Resident Evil, because these things are kind of a combination of the tongue licky things and Venom. Uh, really cool character designs, to be honest. Now, while the first film was a very concise, very centralized idea that could barely stand over 90 minutes, this one is seven minutes longer. But it has a little bit more to its story. It has kind of a triple arc going on. I really thought that it was going to be a lot about Emily Blunt and kind of going on this journey to the next town, but really that's actually solved quite quickly. It's the daughter who becomes the main character, and I like that passing of the torch. I do enjoy her as a central character. Killian Murphy is in this film as well, and he's kind of the Krasinski replacement. He actually has a pretty good presence in this film. He does a decent job, I would say. Nothing too exceptional, but really this is a horror movie. We're not expecting A-listing acting, but I still enjoyed it. And there's probably a few more moments in this movie that I enjoyed more than the first film, and that's something to say because I re-watched the first film just before watching this, and while the first film is a fun time the first time it was enjoyable i admit its rewatchability was not as strong for me and i feel the same thing for the second one here but there's still multiple rises in the film there are several climaxes in this movie conveniently happening at the same time twice but i still enjoy these different stories are they as smart as they should be mainly the sun I like how the son is trying his best, like the kid has got some chops on him. And despite that he's kind of really relegated to the side, he's trying to be as resourceful as he can be despite his limitations in the film. He is kind of given some stupid shit to do in this movie. Really the, the worst bits, if anything, come at the very end of the film when there is this conflict slash climax, like the resolution that happens for the sake of it happening. I can't get behind why it happens at all. It's the dumbest fucking thing in the whole movie. I understand it's a horror movie and I understand you have to have something like this happen and I don't know maybe there might have been a different way for them to get about it but it's dumb. Like it's really stupid <laughs> but it's the worst bit in the whole movie and considering how much good there is in this movie it doesn't really tone down what was already established the opening of this movie is really really good it hooks you the transition to the sequel very good as well most of the middle act pretty strong and while the third act like I said, happens for the sake of happening, it still has a pretty resolute ending. Depending on how the reception is, there might be a third one. What they could do after this, I really don't know because at that point they're going to have to expand the story and kind of take away that whole central focus. While this is a little bit more of a journey, there's still that very focused mentality which this genre of horror really thrives on. So to expand it would 
possibly cause more rift, more issue, and I kind of think that Krasinski would like to try and do something else <laughs> rather than a horror movie again, but who knows. In the end, I'm going to give A Quiet Place Part 2 a 4 out of 7. It's an enjoyable film. While I didn't get the story I expected, I pretty much got the movie I expected, so I can't complain about that. Gribe, I might review the first one because I didn't even realize I hadn't, but we'll see. And uh, before I end the video, I'm going to do a little spoiler bit, so if you don't want to watch this, don't watch it anymore. Why does the black guy die in the dumbest way possible? That's the other bit that I thought was really stupid in this movie. Poor Jimmy. He just just dies so badly. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.